Hey guys, before I show you this, I just want to give you some context. This is a, by the way, I'm wearing gloves because I'm in the middle of a workout. I'm too lazy to take it off, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is an interview in London. So a Muslim comes to me, a Muslim YouTuber thing comes to me and interviews me. Uh, I forgot his name. I wish I, uh, if, if you are watching this, please reach out to me so we can continue this discussion. But this is very much like a lot of discussions I see on Twitter and Facebook. So this was my... One of the rare times that I saw my Twitter feed showing up in real life where you get uh, this accusation uh, by a lot of Muslims towards ex-Muslims that they were never Muslims to begin with. Um, and you see this mostly from, I mean, you see it from both sides, but the Sony version of it is like, well, you were, you were Shia Muslim, so you were never Muslim to begin with. Because you have to understand, for a very, very long time, uh, Muslims have been told that you know once you go islam you can never go back like not not like forcefully not because of a uh, you know apostasy law i can never say that properly it's just a tongue twister but um because it's just like once you see the true islam nobody in the right mind want to leave it right and a lot of that has been fed to us for for since childhood and a lot of people bought that so now with the age of like social media and stuff, a lot of people are noticing ex-Muslims are like, well, what, what the hell? Like, how could somebody truly see, understand Islam and still want to leave that? So this is a huge uh, refutation of everything a lot of Muslims believed in. So the solution to that has been, well, they were never really Muslim or they uh, didn't understand Muslim, Islam, right? So, you know, the interview that you're about to watch from the very f first few seconds of the discussion i understood that this is like he was recording me and he was i i saw for his audience what he what i think he was trying to do is show like look this this ex-muslim person armin navabi i'm gonna just show you guys that he's not he wasn't really a, a, a true muslim right and the thing is that one thing that they misunderstand is when we say, when Muslim, ex-Muslims say that we were practicing Muslim, and then I listen to the Muslim podcasts uh, about what we had said, and they say like, oh, they say they were so knowledgeable, as if they're the same thing, practicing and knowledgeable, right? To be, to be fair, a lot of, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I, I can't speak for other ex-Muslims, but at least for me, most, like, knowledge I had about Islam was more than average when I was Muslim, more than average compared to other Muslims. But, but, my knowledge about Islam was significantly higher when I became an ex-Muslim about Islam. So, yeah, but just because, but... Practicing wise, I was more of a practicing Muslim compared to when I was an ex-Muslim, which was not practicing at, at all. Like, I know I, it, it took a short time that I was a practicing Muslim because as soon as I took it seriously, I think I'm too smart to re to to you know to real to keep practicing it and not realize that this is nonsense. So once I took it seriously, it took me only a year to realize like, okay, this doesn't make any sense. But I was a practicing Muslim. But then they want to come and say like, oh, you say you're practicing. Well, do you know about this in Islam? Do you know that about Islam? And usually my answer is yes, I do know about them. But then when they give up on that, then they have like harder questions and harder questions and harder questions. They, wanna, they ask you questions that 99.9% .9 of Muslims can't answer. Like if they, they want to show you that you were never, first of all, they say you were knowledgeable Muslim. For, no, no, I say I was practicing. I didn't say I was knowledgeable. I wasn't saying I was a freaking scholar. But if this, if their standards of who, like you were not a true Muslim, the standards that they have for who was a true Muslim, you know, the Muslim community would, wouldn't be like, would be a fraction of what it is today. Like, you know how proud they, proud they are, how fat Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world and this many Muslims are, you know, how could it be wrong if there's this many people are Muslim? Well, according to your standards, none of these people are Muslim because they were not going to pass your test. They're not going to pass your test. Of who's, like if, if you're saying I wasn't a Muslim because of, oh, you didn't know the answer to this or that, which I usually do. Um, but even, even if I didn't, if you, if you had the same standards for other Muslims, most people wouldn't be Muslim. Most people that you consider Muslim, the giant Islamic ummah, 
wouldn't be considered Muslim based on your standards because they won't be able to pass your stupid test. Um, anyways, like, I, I'm serious. Like, if you talk to most Muslims, they don't, you could make up Quranic verses and they believe the, that's in the, in, the, in, in the Quran. They don't know their Quran. They don't, most Muslims have never read the Quran back to back. I read it at least three times back to back. And I, like, back to back, I read it three times. And we studied it a lot, many times in, you know, in, in not back to back, but a lot of times we read, I read the Tafsirs, I read the Hadith, I read the Quran. Um, you know, I read your, and yeah, you always, you're going to feel like they're always looking for that thing that you can't answer. Right. And you can't answer like, ah, how could you truly be a Muslim if you didn't know the answer to that? Well, that shows you that you don't understand Islam because according to, according to Muhammad himself, that actually this is so, they're violating hadith by accusing people of not being truly Muslim, but takfiring them. There was there we have stories of people uh, close to Muhammad and telling them like why well, I killed him and like what Muhammad say why did you kill him it was not a he was a Muslim maybe like oh, I didn't believe he was a Muslim I'm like you shouldn't have killed him he might have been a Muslim you don't know he was not a Muslim how could you tell he was not a Muslim and they're doing this to us uh, so <laughs> and they, so you know to, in Islam you just need to believe in God and Muhammad as his prophet. And, you know, and the Quran is the direct word of God. And you're a Muslim. Muhammad is the last prophet. Last prophet. He, you know, not just a prophet. Uh, and you're a Muslim. I mean, yeah, you can sin. All Muslims believe all Muslims sin. You could not know some of the details. But according to Islam itself, you're a Muslim if you just believe in all of those things. So if you think that somebody is not a Muslim because they don't know this small little detail here, then you don't know Islam. You don't know Islam because you don't know the conditions for what makes somebody a Muslim. Because you don't have to be a perfect Muslim to be a Muslim. You could be a sinner and a Muslim. You could not, you could sin and be a Muslim. You could not know the, you know, every single hadith and be a Muslim. But it's very interesting because if somebody just says the shahadat and testify that they're Muslim, they're like, oh my God, you're a Muslim. They make videos like, oh, look, look. We like you another person like they, they open accept them with open arms especially if they're white especially if they're women they like uh, you know they they love that they eat that shit up they big uh, I, I swear so this you this video is gonna get you know not not just demonetized by the way I don't care about that because uh, I rely on f your support financially link patreon link in the description uh, I just swore and I'm gonna be too lazy to go edit that out. I don't you know, but please share this video because of this just I just said a swear word and the, the thing that I care about is that it's just not YouTube is just not gonna suggest it to anybody anymore. That's what I care more about the demonetization. So please share this video. Please, please share these videos. Uh, send it to your friends. Tell people to subscribe. You know, click that bell thingy. Do all the like, dislike, comment. Tell the algorithm that this video is important. Please, our YouTube channel is not growing because it's you know everybody else grew fast. Uh, when it wasn't controversial and now that we want to grow on YouTube, none of not, uh, the algorithm hates us because of these topics, right? Anyways, share, th share this video. Anyways, no more, no more, uh, let's just ju jump into the interview. Okay, I'm here with uh, Armin, who says he's an ex-Muslim, so I just well, want to challenge... Ex-Muslim, and I get told by Sunni Muslims that I'm not an ex-Muslim because I used to be Shia. Yes. So they say they're never Muslim. Because, but it's interesting because Shias also say that Sunni. Pakistani Sunni. atheist said hi. Oh, anyway, hi, Pakistani like... atheist. Okay. But I mean, technically, I was technically when I became religious, I wasn't really Shia because I thought when I was a Muslim, I thought the whole Shia Sunni thing is ridiculous mm -hmm. because I thought like this whole Sh Shia Sunni thing is man made up when I was religious. Yes. I thought it's just. Islam is Islam is Islam. Yes. You know, I just have to follow the Quran, read the Quran. God coming. I don't need to listen to imams to tell me what God, yes. Yes. what is teaching. I just yeah. need to, God already sent a book, mm -hmm. and all I need to do is listen to what God has to say. So that's okay. what I. That's so what I thought. My question is: so, so from Shia background, mm -hmm. you decided that's not right. So you went from Shia background. You you like that's your like you grew up in that in that culture. Then you left that to like Quran only yeah well okay so uh, my parents were very liberal okay so they didn't take religion they're not practicing, okay. they're not practicing. Okay. 
But when I became, I was never a practicing Shia. Okay. When I decided to go from not being religious uh -huh. to religious. Not being Shia to... No, no, not being religious at all. Okay, no, I, okay. I was never, I never took Shia Islam very seriously. Okay. When I went from not taking religion seriously to taking religion seriously, mm -hmm. I decided that why would I go to listen to these Imams when God has already sent me a message. Okay. So never really practicing Shia. So you never did all the grave worshipping, you can say, and Ali is the, you know, like, no. putting so much in, in importance to no. Ahlul Bayt, the house of the... Uh, no, I, for me it was like, God is the only thing that I can. What about the Hadith? What did you think of the Hadith? Well, I, I worked my way to the Quran, yeah. um, and I thought that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. But I... I was religious for like about a year. So you okay, okay. Now I'm trying to build up a picture in my head. Yeah. So, so when you say you're even, religious, like what is, in some of your video, videos, you say, "Oh, I was like a practicing knowledgeable Muslim. That's no, why I've left never, Islam." All right. Well, knowledgeable. Um, I became knowledgeable more about Islam after I left. Islam. Okay. My, so practicing mm -hmm. serious religion, but when I say religious, I mean religious in the sense that. My only, the only thing that mattered to me was God and God alone. Okay. Right. Can I ask you, mm -hmm. now, if you, when you went from the Shia and then on Quran, you focused on that, refused the Shia and all that, did you Refuse. pray five times a day? Yes, yes. You, you were praying five times a day? Yes. So, but I did, I, to be fair, like I know, like, non stop, of, yeah? Yes. Okay. And fasting during Ramadan. Okay. And luring your gaze when you see girls. Uh, look, that's the look. Islam is the gold standard. Right, right. We are not perfect. We yeah. should try to live by the gold standard of Islam. No, I'm just telling. We Muslims are not perfect. Like what, you know, like lowering no, the gaze and all that. We try. Sometimes we are weak. We look and then we ask Allah forgive no, us. I wasn't saying it, but there was. No, no, no. no I was no, just no. saying what yeah. I was what I was doing. Right? Okay. No, no. Uh, I, I was like, um, I remember like many times not meeting the standards that I think I should be having. I was doing Tobe. Mm -hmm. I was. Praying to God to forgive me. Mm. That's what I was going through, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, but I mean, it didn't it didn't even make it into following the hadith because after about a year, I started doubting, and then eventually I left. So what made you doubt? Um, what started it is not the same thing as what made the doubt strong. Mm. What started. So cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. What, 10, 15 minutes will be done. What started oh, it... We can plan a hangout session one day. Yeah, we should. Yeah? What started it was the, the fact that I felt it's unfair for non-Muslims to go to hell. Okay. That I felt like I couldn't see how a just God would do that to the people that didn't come to the same conclusion as me. Especially like what made me think about it more was just going to the sun so you yeah, can get some heat. But my, my dad, for example, right? Yeah. My dad was not a practicing Muslim. Mm -hmm. um, he drank alcohol. He never prayed. Okay. He never fasted. Okay. Um, but he's a heart surgeon, right? Okay. And what, so for example, one thing that my dad does, people go get heart surgery, like get their heart, you know, mm -hmm. fixed with him. And then they come to him and they say like, oh, they can't afford to pay for the surgery. Okay. And my dad will forgive them, them like, okay. Yeah, he's being generous. The, yeah, but, because but, you don't have time, I'm going to try to ask No, I questions. do have time. Okay, you have time. Yeah? No, no, oh, yeah. After you had, uh, okay, okay. No, no, I'm just cold. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I... And because I have to go back on the focus on the camera as well, yeah, I don't have time. I'm gonna say but we can talk again in there when we eat. Yes, but anyway, so I ahead. thought it was really unfair that my dad is going to go to hell, such a generous person, right? Mm -hmm. So I went and studied like the history of religion to see why non-Muslims go to hell. Okay. But I went through a path that I realized that I'm doubting it, so I then changed my path instead of the unfairness of hell, I went to look for the evidence for God, mm -hmm. and when I couldn't find evidence for God, I lost my faith. I remember praying to God, I begging God that I'm losing faith in him to please show me something, please show me the right way, the Surat al Mustadim and all that. And I, I didn't get anything and I went eventually you know, to I pray every day to Allah mm -hmm. and just because I wish for like um, a nice wife for example, yeah? Just because I, I, not, I don't have one just yet. I'm, it's not for a reason for me to. No, no, leave. that's not the. I know, no, yeah, but what, that was not okay, my reason. What my 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 contention was with you because when I saw one of two of your videos, 
and when you, you know like I can't, um, I'm paraphrasing you this is the impression I got like you was a practicing Muslim and all that I just want to ask you do you know the conditions of the uh, the Shahada yes yes can you can you do you know what, uh, what yeah, the, I said on Allah, 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 no 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 the, the, the conditions or the, or the conditions of the Salah did you, do you know did you, did you know the the basics of Islam they're yes, the basics yes. The, yeah, the five pillars, for example. No, not the five pillars. The, the condition, condition of the salah. The condition, the condition of, of the wudu. You know when you yeah, have the wudu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, no, no, not just doing the actions. Right. There are conditions that you know, like conditions salah. Uh, you know, like you have to. You don't know them, yeah. I don't. Want to what do you mean conditions? Though? Okay, so regarding. So you don't know them, yeah. No, so. Okay, the thing like the. My understanding is that as long as you believe that that there is no God but Allah, and you believe that Muhammad is his prophet, if you testify that you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim. And I just want to know how deep was you in Islam that made you deep. So your main thing is is that no, but because Allah don't you says agree? That like if somebody comes and converts to Islam mm. and say yes, I shed on Allah, 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 I shed on Muhammad Rasulullah. Huh? I shed on what? I'm saying in a Persian accent. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is a Persian. But you have to say in Arabic, don't you? No, don't don't do my accent. This yeah. is how this is very Persian accent. I shed on Allah. Shahada is in Arabic is in Arabic. I'm not I'm not mocking your accent. You just you shed the shahada wrong. I shed on Allah. La ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can take that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, sh I know what it means, and I, and if you say that and you sincerely mean it, here's the double standard Muslims have. When somebody wants to convert to Islam, and if they say that and they mean it, they are Muslim. They say you are Muslim now. But when somebody is an ex-Muslim, they leave Islam, even when they said that and they meant it, they're like. No, 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 you're not a serious Muslim. But wait a minute, when people are converting to Islam, you, that's good enough for people to be a Muslim. But when people want to leave Islam, they're like, no, wait, did you know this? Did you know that? Did you know this hadith? Do you know like uh, the, the five pillars and the six uh, no, the you know, pillars of say, the reason people... Iman mm. and this and that? Mm. Were you a scholar? How, did you read the hadith? People, people are like, no, like, people are like, no, okay, so if you didn't, if you, here's my list of things that you have to know. If you didn't know them, you're not a true ex-Muslim. But when it, you see the double standard, okay, well, I'm gonna do you do understand it. what the yeah, double yeah. standard is? Yeah, yeah, like? I, I understand your point. Okay, yeah. let's do this because my camera is recording. Right, I go, let's and, go. Yeah, sorry, what, sorry. No, what we'll do, when we eat, I'm going to um, have some questions ready for you because um, because of my camera's over there. On top of my head, I can't remember this. I had some questions. Right, right. from my head now. Right. So when we eat, I'm going to uh, ask you, or we can do a hangout. We can and, do both. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. do a hangout. Yeah. And, uh, hangout can, is dead, by the way. No, we can do it by OBS. Okay, yes. yes. Screen share. Yes, yes. You, know, yes. We, there is, you can still Yeah, I know, no. OBS, so we I can have do OBS. that. So I want to go into why you left Islam. Yes. And I want to see that there's certain things of Islam, the basics, did you know it? And if you didn't know the basics of Islam, some of the things... So, what, what do you mean by conditions? Because I might have a different name for it. What do you mean by conditions of the Shahada? I'll tell you what, what, what we'll do, we'll go live again. Uh, no, but what do you mean we, by the conditions? I'll, 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 I'll tell you what it is in yeah. a minute. Because I need to go. Because, because there are conditions. the conditions is that you just have to mean it. No, no, no. No, I'll just, no, no, no. There are conditions okay. of the salah. There are conditions of the conditions. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine. Yeah. So I'll the conditions is that you have to really mean it. That's Guys, we're gonna do a. We're gonna go. I have to go and go to my main camera. Yeah, so yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Then. I'm gonna do a, another one later on. So if if you, if I thought you were going. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.